What is up you guys, it's Violet Telly here and welcome back to Let's Catch a Vibe. Now, I hope everyone's feeling great, feeling amazing, feeling vibey. As you guys can tell by the title of the video, I'm going to be discussing the season finale of Miss Marvel, or as I like to call it, Kamala Khan. Literally aired just today, so this will be a spoiler episode, it will be in the thumbnail and I will put it in the title of the video. So yeah, if you guys haven't watched the episode yet, please go watch the episode because man, we've got some stuff to discuss. So I will be doing this video and I will be doing a short video afterwards to discuss an end credit scene. Yes, there is one end credit scene um, relative like a minute after the um, the initial credits. But anyway, starting us with this episode, we pretty much um, meet up with um, Bruno and... Damn, what's his name? I forgot his name now. <laughs> Cameron, that's it. <laughs> I forgot his name then. Pretty much we meet up with um, Bruno and Cameron. They are in the subway station and they are on the run from the... Um, from the... Oh, damn, well, I'm so terrible with names. Damage control. They're on the run from damage control. Because obviously, you know, if you remember the last episode, that drone shot into um, pretty much where Brian works. And um, he lives above the shop. So anyway, they're getting chased by the DOE. Um, damage control. Pretty much we switch back to Kamala. She's now back in New York with the family. Pretty much she says, you know, she confesses to the family. You know, I'm, um, what was her nickname now? Was it Light Girl or something like that? Anyway, they're all like, you know, your mom told your dad. Your dad told us. Your dad speaks on the phone on loudspeakers. On loudspeakers, so we all know. Um, also, we, under, we also get the friend that... Um, obviously she ends up speaking to the friend again and the friend's like, listen, I thought you would hate me. I don't know. You hate superheroes. She's like, listen, I wouldn't hate you. You're one of my friends. So we resolve that. So the friend's back on board. So pretty much the whole of this episode is pretty much, um, Kamala and friends trying to get Cameron to, um, pretty much safety. So we pretty much end up moving away from there. And then we move into a bit of, um, you know, damage control, you know, we find out um, they end up chasing them down to the mosque that they went in before. Trying to search for everyone in the mosque. The mosque um, leader pretty much um, put, gives them these funny hats and tells them to sneak out the back. We end up finding Kamala gets given her uniform, her suit by her mother. So it was a bit of a, a, bit of a surprise um, that the mother was working on something in Pakistan. Really, really cool. Absolutely love that one. Um, her suit's cool. I like her suit. It is pretty much, if you guys played the Avengers games, it is pretty much a, literally ripped from that game into that. Because if you guys don't know pretty much what they do with like um, things that are coming out now, if there's been costumes in a recent game, they'll kind of try and... Because people recognise, oh, Kamala Khan was in the Avengers game. So they'll take that look, put it into a film. So you kind of recognise, you know, so you don't have to be like, who's this? I don't know that look for her. Because you could give a hero any kind of look and think people would know. But anyway, moving us on. Um, what ha what happened did happen. I pretty much called it. I said, what's probably going to happen is, I didn't do it in recording, but I thought it in my head. I said, it's pretty much what's going to happen. It's going to get down to them fighting in the school. And they fight in the school. Really, really cool. They set up traps when the DOE are fighting them. So yeah, pretty much, um, we end up meeting up with the, well, not necessarily bully, pretty much the guy, the girl at um, AvengerCon that Kamala saved, uh, the first person she saved. Pretty much we get her, she was doing TikToks in the theatre or something like that because there was loads of light and good lighting and, you know, nobody's there on a Saturday, which was a plausible, plausible excuse why she would be there. So pretty much she joins the fray. Um, we also get the brother that was told to keep an eye on her, so he ends up becoming part of the little, um, should we say, like, fight back plan. But, um, yeah, pretty much the DOE surrounds the school. Um, somebody gets phoned up and tells them, listen, pull out of there. You're, you're, you're chasing after kids in, a, kids in a school. It's not a good image. Especially if a damage control, it's not a good image. This woman ends up thinking, no, I'm going to push on through. So she defies her order from her commander and she keeps um, going into the school. Really, really good. Again, I, I, I've said it from the beginning. I wasn't really a big fan of this, of Kamala Khan. In general, yeah, she was okay in the game, but she was, she's bet. I thought she was better off with other heroes, like not on her own. But yeah, I wasn't really looking forward to this series. It changed my mind. The music again, really, really good. Acting, chemistry, really, really good. Art style, the visual effects. Um, so yeah, pretty much. Anyway, moving on, we do get a fight in the school. Pretty much like you know them, just again, just distracting the damage control, trying to get. Um, 
Cameron to a doc because um, Kamala phoned uh, a member of the Red Daggers to say, listen, I need to get him out of the country. Can you help me? She says, listen, just get him to the... Um, Get him to the pier by 12 o'clock. So it's pretty much all like a bit of a smoke and mirrors act trying to get and dodge and weave the uh, damage control. Um, really, really cool. Again, really, really cool. We get to see Cameron's powers. We get to see Kamala's powers because Kamala is literally trying to um, she's trying to stop Cameron because Cameron finds out that his mother's been killed. So obviously he's not looking to mess about. He looks, he just wants to just, you know, let rip essentially. Also, his powers are kind of like... They're a bit unleashed. They're a bit like, you know, flailing everywhere because obviously he doesn't know how to control them. He says he feels like he's being ripped in from the inside. So obviously his powers are having a bit of like a, um, whether they're reacting to like stress and obviously, you know, him being on the run and stuff. Really, really cool. Um, we do get an end scene, which is not necessarily a fight, but it's like a display of powers. We get Kamala Khan that like absorbs their power and she goes super big, smashes what looks like one of the Sonic devices from the Incredible Hulk from 2008, or a similar design anyway. Um, but yeah, we get really, really, oh, really, really good. Um, oh, yes, actually, um, the girl that Kamala saved um, at, at Avengers Khan, she ends up being um, somebody that's on like TikTok and that, so she gets all the community involved, like everyone that um, follows that. So we get like a big crowd. Kamala's mom comes, family comes, everyone's there to try and support um, Kamala uh, or uh, Miss Marvel. Um, but yeah, pretty much we end up getting them supporting her. We got the DOE or Damage Control um, trying to attack Kamala and Cameron. We get, again, we get, like, a bit of a light show with, like, exchange of powers and stuff. Like I said, Kamala gets super, super big. Pretty much what from what we see in the games. Obviously, you should use their stretch arms and their fist and stuff like that. Well, not stretch arm, but she uses, the, like, I'm going to call it, like, a crystallized power. Because we don't exactly know what it is yet. We just know it's a dimensional power. Again, moving on, um, we get, like, a one week later where pretty much we do find out that, you know... Um, Kamala's, um, pretty much after the events of what happened, Kamala's sitting down talking to her dad. He's telling her pretty much what her name means. And obviously, you know, they were always wanting a second child. And then when she came, she came along, she was a marvel. She explains the, um, was it the name in Pakistan? Um, means marvel and stuff like that. So they end up working out the name. So then obviously they work out her name is Miss Marvel from now on. Really, really cool. Uh, we get the iconic scene, which is uh, was in my first thumbnail, where she's sitting on the lamppost. Really, really cool. I'm not going to tell you what happens after that, because we do get an end credit scene. But really, guys, I absolutely love this. I probably butchered everything I've just told you, but pretty much it is like a bit of a chase episode, where they're literally trying to escape the damage control and trying to distract them. And pretty much it's all about, like, Kamala and Cameron. Really, really good supporting cast. Again, love the father, love the love the um, Bruno friend, love the other friend. Really, really good, really, really good um, supporting cast. Um, but, yeah, pretty much absolutely amazing episode. It, what I thought would happen would happen. It being, like, a high school setting and, you know, more for the younger kids. But I liked it. I really, really liked it. This made me a fan of Miss Marvel even more. I did like her in the game, the Avengers game, but I thought she was a bit annoying at times, but I thought she was better with other characters. Anyway, I'm going to end this video here, guys. Uh, we'll be doing a separate video talking about the end credit scene and a mutant reference. Yeah, I'm going to leave that there. But anyway, if you guys like this video, don't forget to smash the like button. If you did like the video, let me know in the comments down below why you did like the video. Also, are you a big fan of Miss Marvel now? Have you not watched the series at all? Not really too bothered. Anyway, uh, if you are new, don't forget to subscribe and channel if you're new and join Team Let's Catch Your Vibe. Also, if you are new, please don't forget to switch on the bell notifications to get no further systems that below. But more importantly, don't forget to stay vibey and I'll catch you all vibing. Peace. Cheers.